What's up, fellow Clashers? It's Apollyon here, back at Rising. Going to go ahead and do a double war recap. Got a lot of attacks to show. We're going to try to run through this real quick. Real quick, I'm going to show the Town Hall 9 attacks on both of the wars, and then the Town Hall 8 attacks all in one video, all with one shot. Here we go. Pinoy Assassin, level 10 clan from the Philippines. We'll show what they did to us, 87-84. Uh, we are three shy of a perfect war, and uh, we'll, we'll just skip through. They, they had a problem with our top seven, pretty much, and then three-starred the rest of the bases. Didn't know if they jumped down or, or had to dip down. have no idea, but I will show ours. Let's start with number three, and this is why you don't use anti-two bases, uh, the compact anti-two bases, because uh, whom I will go ahead and crush you. And he's going to go ahead and he's going to actually have a lot of fails here. He's got a queen walk going on up top. He's going to do a go va ho here. And uh, the uh, Valkyries actually end up walking as well and still grabbed the, the, the three stars. The reason why is when you have such a compact base, you know where the Teslas are and you know where the giant bombs are. There is nowhere where they can be except for in that top compartment where the cannon is and the bottom compartment where the two cannons are. That's the only places that the, the traps can be on the inside of the base. So we're starting with that cold-blooded um, entry here and uh, doing a, a few things with the wizard's funneling. I think he has a wall, wall breaker fails here, so all the wall breakers fail. The Valkyries have to come in here and start pounding on the wall with the king. And uh, then, you know what? The, the clan castle Valkyries, or uh, the other Valkyries, just decide, we'll just go ahead and take a walk on the bottom. So they're going to go ahead and do their thing. And uh, really, the, the only good thing about this is that they take the focus away from the, the Lava Hound, the clan castle, from the queen. But they're still going to get popped by those wizards. So he sends those hogs on the back end to go ahead and use those... Uh, um, Valkyries as a shield. They are going struggling to get through this Tesla farm here on the bottom. We'll hit a giant bomb right there. Like I said, we know where the, the Teslas are. We know where the giant bombs are. He uses a second heal for those Valkyries and King in the core and uh, has a couple, at least one jump that I saw. I don't know, maybe two jumps. We'll see. Um, that Lava Hound is just about to be popped. He has a few more hogs to send in the back end. That Queen is full health without ability, but is uh, doing just fine. I think all the healers are up. So the uh, Lava pup is, lava Pups are burst. Does a great um, job on dropping the poison there. I think there's a Golemite that the King is pounding on, the enemy King. But that poison is going to take all everything out. Just, just fantastic. And now it's just about uh, watching this Archer Queen do her thing. The uh, last uh, Hog Rider is done, and uh, he's just got to make his way all through the rest of the base. So very, um, and I don't mean this in a bad way, just a sloppy attack, things go wrong. I mean, is, is Valkyrie's walked, you know, things like that happens. The heals were a little off, but you still get the three star, and that's what really matters. That's why you don't build anti-two bases. It's, uh, it just gives you a lot of leeway. All right, number six. Let's check this out. Mini Matino with a little bit, like a little lower uh, to, than mid heroes is going to do uh, a max base here, pretty much. You've got, uh, you know, not max walls, but you've got a max Town Hall 9 defensive base. And he's got level 10 and 12 Royals, and he's going to crush this base. So, again, another anti-2. Um, a lot of similar bases on this war. Uh, that's why I didn't show too many because it was the same base over and over again. Drops that shattered entry, drops the queen behind, drops the wall breakers to go ahead, test wall breaker, and then the other ones go in there. Everything reroutes in that core, has a jump and three heals. We're doing another go va ho again and uh, drops the jump there. Let's go ahead and drop those Valks in. It's a good time. And uh, the clan castle Valks as well. They want to start running. See, look at that. They want to start running up top. But uh, they, they, they're still building left there. So you want to drop them in a little bit quicker. Otherwise, they will start running up again. Drops the poison. Misses the second poison. Um, it's way dropped way too low. There is a witch all the way up top that's still doing her thing. Uh, an enemy witch. Queen finally taking the jump. And it's time to go ahead and uh, send those hogs in as the enemy queen is down. So we can go ahead and do the rest of this raid. We've got two more heals left. And still a bunch of hogs left to be deployed. We have six more hogs to go. And uh, there we go. There's with three more. Very nice sprinkling in. He's doing a, a surgical counterclockwise type of deployment. And uh, he's being very patient with that last heal as well. 
So he's still got a few more defenses to get through, but has that extra heal he can use right now. And uh, he wants to heal over that giant bomb spot potential, which I don't know if it is or not. But uh, he's already tripped two giant bombs, but there might have been other ones in there that he just didn't trip. I wasn't paying attention. But we got a wizard tower against six hogs. Let me tell you who's going to win that one. The six hogs are going to win that one. So we've got cleanup going on. Uh, good split. Wizards, everything's going up. The queen is uh, cleaning on the uh, upper side, the upper east side, the upper west side, whatever. And then we get uh, six, three stars. Uh, six star war for Mini Matino. All right, number eight. Let's check the last Town Hall 9 attack from this war. Huck's going to do a cold blooded La Loon. Thought it was a Penta, but it's not. Um, he's got a, a Max Golem in the clan castle. Look at this, another compact base. Just, uh, just craziness. So. I'm um, not sure what was in the clan castle. We will find out in just a second, but we're doing the funneling here. Uh, he really only needs to take out that one easily accessible uh, air defense. Look, they, they, they left a little niche in the wall just for them to walk right in there. That king will go ahead and do his thing and smack that queen down real fast. We've got a poison on the clan castle, and we've got the queen picking off that air defense. So at this point, the enemy queen is down, that air defense is down, and we can go ahead and start sending in the loons. Everything else is in consequence at this part that queen is probably going to die very soon um, as uh, she's going to do a, a queen walk without a healer so he sent two hounds in there with loons on the backup they're not going to get to that uh, wizard tower in time to save that queen so uh, uh, it looks like they'll focus on them anyway so the queen might make it here there we go we send another uh, 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 the other two hounds in there they are tanking I think we've got three hounds tanking that top air defense and uh, pretty soon, one of them is going to get burst. Like, uh, well, the air defense goes down first. So we got three low level, or I'm sorry, low low hit point uh, hounds. So they're going to burst really quick. There goes one. There goes two, and we've got the other one on life support. But the, these uh, loons are going to make their way in there, and they are going to take it out before that uh, last hound gets popped. But we've got plenty of uh, lava hounds that are cleaning up. Uh, looks like our enemy queen has, our, I mean, our friendly queen has died to that Tesla. And uh, we've got everything else going around. That last Tesla is taken out. And the hound still did not get popped, but that's fine. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other wars, Town Hall 9s. And uh, we'll see those attacks right now. All right. Banjar Pirates, a uh, clan from Indonesia, a level uh, 9 clan, and this one was a real close one, 70-70, I think this was a 30-30 war, if I'm not mistaken, we'll check that out in just a second, we did win uh, by just percentage, and you can see it wasn't much by 0.6%, or almost by 0.5%, really, so uh, very, very close, close war, um, they used almost every single one of their attacks, so we'll show what they did to us. They struggled with our top six, and then was able to three-star everything else. So it looks like we had, I'm sorry, we had a 25 versus 25 war here. So, uh, and then we'll go ahead and jump into some of our attacks and show their number, the, the, the attack against their number one, Rampo, coming in with a Go Vaho Quad Quake. Uh, this is the staple attack, either with jumps or quad quake. We use them all the time in both Rising, WHF2, and in uh, WHF. I mean, it's just what uh, works right now. So we've got uh, Max Golem coming in from the Clan Castle. I like to bring uh, my own Golems and use Max Valks. They're just so much more powerful than level 4. But uh, he's got a Shattered going in here. He's got a Test Wall Breaker that's going down. Very nice Test Wall Breaker because all those bombs killed it. So that's exactly why you want to use Test Wall Breakers. Golems reroute. Uh, queens drop. Kings drop. Valks are in there. Everybody's in there. Everybody's partying. Everybody's wang chunging tonight. Let's go ahead and take care of that Lava Hound. Even though we don't really want to, the Queen is going to do it with the Wizard. And we've got uh, everything running around the core there. They take out the enemy King. They take out the enemy Queen right here. 
She's going to go down in just one second. There we go. The Valks help with that. And we're sending in Hogs on the back end. Um, meshing with the heels. A very nice heel. Getting both the Hogs and the Valkyries. Has deployed all those Hogs already now. So we've got no more Hogs. And we've got Lava Pups running rampant. Hitting the, the King. Hitting the Valks. And hitting some of those Hogs. So that's not always the best case scenario. But uh, uses the ability of the Queen finally. And uh, going ahead and taking some of those defenses up there. The question is, she's gonna, is she going to live? She's got to take out that uh, wizard tower. And I think she's going to win. Yep, she wins that. Just depends on what happens here. Who gets aggro first to this archer tower? And the queen does, so she's out. So it's really up to these wizards and king and valks to go ahead and do the uh, last couple defenses and clean up. And... Uh, the, the, fortunately, that king is tanking very well. Everything starts making their way in there, and the wizards will help ease that out and uh, take care of that last defense, and now it's just a race against time. Six stars, or I'm sorry, three stars for Rampo. Nice. All right, number eight. Another Govajo, but this one is not a Shattered. Mini Matino bringing his level 12 and 10 Royals in here. Doing a very common internet base here. It's like that turtle, whatever you want to call it. And uh, bringing another Go Vaho and bringing a jump with three uh, heels. And this is the one we use almost all the time. Sometimes we use two jumps, um, just depending on how far we want to get the push. Shattered Entry goes in there. I like Cold Blooded if possible. I like bringing more Valkyries than anything else because usually those Golems get a little stagnant and they just start banging against the wall. And they're not very effective banging against the wall. Uh, Four Valkyries will tear through almost any wall a lot quicker than a, a Golem will. So we got that Lava Hound again that's going to get popped by these Wizards and um, the Queen. Sending in the the Clan Castle Valkyries in the normal Clan Castle. Nor uh, look at the heal. The heal is dropped in there. Uh, making sure you get those Valkyries with all that DPS. you got to make sure they're, they're up and, and running. That heal will take care of them for at least a while. And uh, drops the jump in there also. He has two more heals left. I would really recommend healing in that core, especially with the tw uh, quad Teslas in there. But uh, he's healing a double giant bomb instead, which is just not going to be as effective as healing a, um, a core of Valkyries. But he's still got a bunch more hogs that he's sending in, doing the clockwise deployment here. One more heal left over. And uh, that king goes down, the uh, the friendly king goes down, the, the friendly queen is banging through the wall, or trying to bang through the wall. And then we've got uh, this these hogs that just need to push through two three-point defenses and garbage defenses. So it looks like they're going to be able to do it standing in that heel. They do lose a bunch to traps, but uh, at this point the damage is already done and we are in cleanup mode. Queen's doing her thing with those... Uh, the, the hogs and the wizards are running around with it. So, oh, pesky builder huts. Look at that. Got to save something for those builder huts. Very fortunate. Didn't run out of time there. Seen too many 98, 99% because of that. All right, two more attacks. Number 10, Go Vaho with another quad quake. But I wanted to show this one because we've got level 10. 10 heroes so you know can you do these the same attack with lower royals yes you definitely can we just watched the uh, uh, mini matino do it with 12 10 we're going to watch 10 10 and this is by far not a max base but we do have max expos max cannons and um max mortars so it's definitely not a pushover base We're using a quad quake this time just to open it up now th this is the reason why i don't really like quad quake with mass valk or go Vajo. it's not a bad strategy at all the problem is um the valkyries you can't control them they just start running rampant they there's they they'll run wherever the two buildings are so it's very hard to 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 check their path and understand where they're going to go for the heals but uh, on the flip side the base is completely open so if you do heal them correctly then they're going to have a field day running at this so i think we're doing a cold-blooded entry here and uh it's great I, I actually would not have dropped the queen there just because look at all that dps on the ground i mean you got a lava hound there and look at how many that those valkyries are just tearing through these royals they've already knocked out the queen and the king in one swipe and uh they would be getting tickled by that lava hound now it's going to be popped with that uh 
uh, wizard and the queen is down anyway so yeah just drop that queen uh, as, as far as clean up or behind these hogs and let her do her thing you got plenty of valkyries up that are still tanking for these hogs and just plowing through all these buildings and uses that last heal there to go ahead and uh, uh, get through the rest of these defenses I'm not sure if they're going to be able to push through completely though because there are f uh, four or five point defenses loses some to spring traps let's see what happens here uh, it looks like they will be able to make it through with just a few hogs left over king is up um, with ability too but uh, it's not going to really need that at all and the valkyries go ahead and help out that so really nice attack you can do this attack bring that bring those valkyries 11 valkyries is great love the cold-blooded attack bringing one golem as you want those valkyries to really make it through the entire base the more valkyries there are the more chance they'll take out those defenses really quickly and uh you know it's just great the only thing i would have changed is just uh not bringing that dropping that queen down that's it and then the last one, we're going to see what happens if you have a king down and uh, your barbarian king. You don't have enough gems to do it or you don't, I don't know, you don't want to. You go ahead and hit it with a penta, which I'm assuming that uh, in the, the clan castle is uh, either a hound and, or a hound. Or possibly a hound so we've dropped our hound already um, dropped two of them actually with the loons following up that queen is focused on that lava hound and and the loons so these pups in rage are just gonna tear her to pieces like piranha there we go she is down and now all we got to do is just worry about these defenses I think the uh, expos are also down as well or no they're not set to ground they're set to uh, one is yeah it looks like one of them is set to air and one of them is set to ground so that takes out a max expo as well without even having to destroy it we've got all the lava hounds going in we've got two more uh, loons that are held back to uh, for back end there we go they're just sent in right there and then we've got a queen did we drop the queen yet i don't know if we even dropped the queen I think we're not dropping the queen. There we go. She's there for cleanup because we don't really want to trigger that lava hound in the clan castle. What's the point? We've got plenty of lava pups to clean up. There's no real reason. Um, and that's the last thing you want to do is trigger a clan castle. She's just, she's just going to walk around the edge of the base. I don't think that uh, the couple of lava pups in the clan castle are going to be able to destroy that clan castle building. But it's not really a big deal. Let's just see what happens here. As long as this queen keeps walking around, she's not going to trigger it. Um, now we got a bunch of lava pups, and we've got loons to, that are going to go ahead and take this thing out in one shot. Boom, we're done. Now it doesn't matter anymore. That lava hound never got a chance to be put in. It's like, put me in, coach. I want to go ahead and defend the base, but it is not going to happen. All right, let's go ahead and look at a couple Town Hall 8s. Uh, attacks and we will call this a day all right so I'm already in this war so let's keep going and we'll look at number 14 and I think this is what happens when you get tired of the normal attacks gringo's been hitting these type of bases so often he just wants to mix it up a little bit it's a really nice attack I don't want to say it wrong I would say it's a, a jiva wipe but uh, that sounds kind of bad doesn't it sounds kind of I don't know. It just doesn't sound right. So Giants, Valkyries, Wizards, and Pekkas. Four Pekkas. Um, I think, yeah, we got a clan castle full of max Giants and just two Valks. Not sure what the Valks are going to be doing in this particular thing. you got to bring more Valks for them to be really effective. Drops those Pekkas in. Doesn't even need golems as he was able to funnel and then just use the natural funneling to drop all those pekkas so we got four pekkas we've got giants and we've got wall breakers with the valkyries and the king i mean that is a dps squad although you will see that they don't really take the king out too fast a lot of valkyries like six or seven valkyries will take that king out a lot quicker Pekka's just hit so slow, so that enemy king, he's getting in a couple shots, and then finally he gets uh, nailed by the, uh, the Pekka's and the king. So we've got uh, wizards walking around, but he still has a bunch of wizards that are going to do their thing. Um, it just has heals, though, so these guys have got to walk their way through the base, and uh, they are doing that. But um, there's no back-end loons, there's no back-end hogs. Uh, they, but they will knock through these walls pretty quickly. I think those Valks are already gone, if I'm not mistaken. This is the alternative to go uh, go wipe, 
but I mean you got to know what you're doing here and what's going to happen here is these wizards are going to go ahead and follow on the outside as the king and the pekkas go on the inside and tank for them the entire time so we'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit he still has six more wizards he hasn't even deployed yet way to hold them back and uh, we're going to go ahead and do watch them go ahead and take out all these trash buildings and they'll start making their way around and uh, they, they do lose sight of uh, that one cannon and then finally the Pekkas get aggro again and uh, it's, it's pretty much game over at this point because these wizards are going to go ahead and take care of all these other defenses. I think there's one more Pekka left so you know really cool strategy. I don't know if I would give it my thumbs up to use it all the time it's good on an open anti-3 or anti-2 base like this and uh really did but gringo is a good attacker i mean he's he's gotten used to he can do all the the normal attacks and i think he just wants to mix it up as we will see in just a little bit on his second attack All right, let's jump down to number 15, and we'll check a drag loon going on here by 2D uh, standard, you know, uh, air defenses in the core. Going ahead, taking care of that. People said this can't be drag loon. It can very easily sweeper is pointed down, so we just want to keep that in mind. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this in under two minutes. We've already got the funneling uh, going in from the top and bottom dragons. And uh, the king is going to help with that funneling as well. Sends those loons in a little early. I don't know if that was a misdrop. If you wanted to drop the uh, dragons in there, I'm not quite sure because they are going to be pretty much crushed in just a second. So I'm not sure what they were they were done. If it was just by mistake, but now we got the real loons coming in from behind uh, of his own, and they're going to go under rage as that zap quake already went in in the top left hand air defense they will take out that air defense and now his own loons and the max loons are going to come in from the bottom under haste to go ahead and get that last air defense they're going to get a nice split take that out and at this point it's pretty much all over um, there is one pesky like archer tower that didn't go down for some reason i don't know what it just won't go down without a fight Look at this, that last dragon is on health support taking that archer tower. That is a hero archer tower, even though the three stars still crushed the base. All right, number 16, Goho. We haven't seen a Goho in a long time. I hope I'm not lying here. Yeah, it's a Goho. I'm pretty sure it is. The, um, the hogs are, are max in the clan castle, so we are going, cause people are sneaking in Valks in the clan castle, so I can't see them when I do that unless until I do the replay. But we've got uh, uh, the hogs going in there to go ahead and trip that clan castle, and we've got two poisons. We've got the um, golems already going in on a shattered entry on the bottom. They will go ahead and tank for this uh, clan castle to you know let the wizards ha handle that. Drops the king in there. And uh, I think those golems are already golemites. They're, they're, they're already pretty much toast. I think that's it. They've got one full golem. There we go. And uh, they're going to go ahead and have to pound through this wall. So we've got three heals for these hogs. And we really want to make it into this uh, area because they're, that, they're, the whole reason why we use that shattered entry is to get in a little deeper in here and also trip that double potential double giant bomb. Or what just happened there is they tanked long enough for the wizards to take out the pathing to the double giant bomb. So well done them. So we've got uh, hogs going in a counterclockwise measure surgically up top. And uh, well, not so surgical. There was actually a uh, like a one or two finger drop. So we've got the max hogs coming in as hero hogs in from the top. We've got one more heal after that second heal was dropped there. And uh, these hogs are going to pretty much be able to plow through. I mean, they've got four point defenses and an air defense, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, they do have some skellies that are trailing them. That is, they're, they're going to be a little bit pesky, but. Um, I think fortunately we don't hit a giant bomb there. Oh, and we've got a lovely little mortar that's going on and shooting at them as well. King is being a nuisance as well, but he decides to give up. And we're going to go ahead and fast forward this. They're going to go around the outskirt of the base. That king uh, is never going to get a chance to do uh, his own battle with the king because the hogs take it out first. So, got to clean up. Everything's good. Three stars there. Let's go ahead and check out 
Another one from Gringo, which is the Giant Valkyrie Healers and Wizards. So you got the Titsy Roll base here. Uh, we've killed it so many times, we've got to come up with new ways to kill it. And here's a new way to kill it. Look at that. So we've got a dragon and a loon in the clan castle. We're going to go use quad quake so we don't have a poison. we got to do it the old-fashioned way. And that's by, I think it's by dropping giants in there, if I'm not mistaken. So he's going to go ahead and drop giants. And then um, I think wizard's right behind. So we've got the clan castle giants with healers. And fortunately, those giants are dropped first. So those healers are going to do a pretty decent job. They're not going to hit those... Um, air defenses for a while and uh, you just gotta keep still and let those wizards do their thing against their that that uh... alright yeah so that that loon is definitely causing some serious damage to that uh, giants but those four healers are keeping up pretty decently so we've got going through the base here those valkyries are going to start running we've got two rages one is going down right now and uh, those healers are keeping up, uh, well, they're trying to keep up with them. The, the air defenses finally go down super fast with those two rages. And it's really like meeny, meeny, miny, mo of where, the, where these healers want to go. So they will go ahead and pick that group of Valkyries. And uh, then they'll decide that, you know, they want to split. They want to go their separate ways. And now they don't want to go their separate ways. Now they want to stay with the king. So very, very like temperamental healers. It's just you don't know how to control. Imagine that, a, a raid with healers and Valkyries that are temperamental. Both of them want to go all different ways and do their own thing. So we've got a bunch of cleanup going on. There's still a couple defenses, two Teslas, um, a cannon, and a mortar. But uh, those Valkyries are tanking for the Tesla. It goes down. The, they're going to be tanking for this cannon as the wizard will go ahead and take it out. Oh, we have an extra raid, so we only dropped one rage in there. So now we use that final rage just to go ahead and push through those healers, make their way back to take to heal those Valkyries. So, I mean, if you can keep those healers up like that, they just crush the base. Really cool attack. Love to watch it. Love to, you know, see that kind of stuff. Kids don't try this at home. They are trained professionals. And uh, speaking of trained professionals, Excalibur is going to completely crush this base with a Go Valo. We haven't seen the Go Valo yet. So, um, kind of like a tic-tac-toe base. We've already got the lure of the dragon and the, um, the loon. Drop the quad quake down there. Have two heals. We're going to do that uh, wizard wizard thing. Not a really good wizard barbarian thing. There we go. There are some barbarians. And finally, they take it out with a shattered entry here. Two golems going in. And we've got Valkyries going in. And we've got more Valkyries going in. And then finally the king goes in there. So everything's making their way through the core. we got two heals to heal them up here. There we go. And all they need to do is just take out these three air defenses and then we can start the loons. Actually, we can start the loons on the bottom if we want to right now. But uh, it's really up to him. It's about that time. And uh, we've got to push through this base. A lot of a lot of buildings. The very nice second heal to keep those Valkyries going. And we're already doing those uh, air defenses. Uh, we're already sending in the loons, and um, I think, yep, they all, they're all down now. So well, it's pretty much just time to sit back, grab a box of popcorn, and watch the rest of the base get completely wrecked. Um, I think we've got a wizard tower, we've got a cannon, two cannons, and a mortar, and they're all pretty much done. We've got a wizard cleaning up on the bottom, and uh, nice split by those loons. I think we have like 10 loons or 12 loons. It's just crazy. I don't even know if he lost a loon. And it even sends one on the corner to help speed things up a little bit. So really, really nice raid. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to that other war so we can finish it off with a couple more Town Hall 8 attacks. And uh, then we'll be done. All right, so Gringo is going to go ahead and calm down here and just use the standard Go Vaho. None of that uh, uh, alternate uh, kind of weird attacks. But uh, you know what? If it works for you, go use whatever you need to to get the three stars. So we've got a, a giant getting that easy lore. We've got a quad quake that's going to go in in just a second, but we're going to go ahead and drop the golem in there to tank for these wizards. And uh, he's just going to get annihilated, that poor golem. I mean, that bomb is just dropping uh, that loon is just dropping bombs on him, and we're already in golemite stage and pretty much already taken care of. So drops that uh, 
quad quake, at least one of those golems, max golems, will reroute in there, or full golems, I'm sorry. The other golemites, all, both of them are taken out. So we've got Valks in for the rescue. So we're going to send them in, and they're going to make their way into this core. And he's got two heals for this. And uh, it doesn't really matter whether they take out the air defense or not. Already one giant bomb tripped that we got uh, going on there. And so we can start sending in the hogs. And I'm not sure where the other one is. Um, normally they'll trip them as they run through here. Uh, I don't see any more, actually. So there we go. There's one right by the wizard tower. And unfortunately, he didn't get a heal there. So he's running, uh, he's ru ru living dangerously there. And I think there might be one more here between the... Uh, the mortar and yep there we go so there was and it does clip some of them but uh we are already in cleanup mode we have some valks we have a bunch of hogs and we've got that golemite that's just running around trying to get to the ball game but too little too late doesn't make it there and we've got three stars nice attack two more and we're all done i don't think we've shown a mass hog yet so let's go back to bread and butter Mass Hog. This is, again, one of those compact bases where there's only uh, two or three spots where there's can be giant bomb, double giant bomb spots. So, you know, why not Mass Hog it? So we've got an easy lure, the uh, two poisons, and three heals. Very, very um, cool. And uh, we'll go ahead and drop the poison there and do the Barbarian Wizard type thing. And uh, we're almost done here. So uh, we've got the Barbarians running right there. Finally, those wizards are doing it. They're getting stuck in that poison and uh, the dragon goes down just a second and then we've got the loon going down so a little bit of a sloppy clan kill but um clan castle kill but we've got the giant in tanking for those hogs and uh then we do a three finger drop to make those hogs get through the rest of this portion of the base and uh, we've dropped our first heal. We've got our second one going in. And we've got uh, another three finger drop around the horn, around the, the other edges of the base in a clockwise type manner. And uh, we're tripping giant bombs left and right. It uses that second heal. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have to deploy those clan castle hogs to the rescue to go ahead and take care of the rest of this base. Very patient on that last heal. And there we go, covering uh, that giant bomb spot. There we, it's perfect. And uh, they're going to get healed completely up to full while that king is pounding on them. And then make their way through the rest of the base. And they'll finally get their revenge on the king. Go ahead and start cleaning up the rest of the base. And uh, they're almost done here. Wizard is doing his thing up top solo. He's the lone wizard. And um, I think, yeah, he won't be able to clean it up by himself. Those hogs are going to step in and get that builder hut as well. All right, one more, and then we're all finished. Number 20, we showed one, but we'll show a second one. It's always good to practice that Govalo. And we'll go ahead and check this out. I got those open. Uh, you don't even have to quad quake because he's already, the, the, the base designer has already opened the core for you, as long as you can make it into one of those compartments. So we've got an easy, easy lore. We've got two poisons, a rage, and uh, two heals. We're going to anchor all the way down here with the looks like a um, uh, troll Tesla. We've got two poisons being dropped on, like a runway type poison that's going to go ahead and take care of that loon. It was already done tons of damage to that uh, king, but the, these wizards are going to take care of that dragon in just a second. All right, so we got wall breakers going in, trying to open that compartment. It looks like it's going to be up to that Valk. They don't get it done, but the Valks will go ahead and take care of that. Um, and uh, they're going to just go ahead and make their way through the rest of this base. Drops a heal in there. Has one more heal left over. All of those giant bombs are triggered. I don't even know what happened to that right Valkyrie. She just flew out of that base. I mean, she ran like crazy. Uh, last air defense is going down. There we go. And the loons are sent in on the back end. Working their way around the base. Take a couple of bombs. No big deal. Uh, the king is still up. Golem is still tanking. Or the golemite. Then it goes flying. So we've got to worry about that air defense and that wizard tower. But after that, it is smooth sailing for these loons. And we'll go ahead and fast forward as they take it out finally. No split, though. Um, as we have another troll Tesla. Yeah, look at that. Troll Tesla up on the right-hand side. But no air bombs left, too. So it's a really kind of worthless Tesla. All right. So anyway, really big recap on both of those wars. Town Hall 9s, Town Hall 8s, all in one video like somebody asked for. 
and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, sign it off here. So go ahead, practice these different attacks, get used to it. Go Vaho is the huge Town Hall 9 and really Town Hall 8 strategy. But uh, practice the composition, spell drops, everything like that. And get those 6-star Clan Wars and practice those 3-star attacks.